Pushing Through Fear, video three, last video. The last one cut off when I was talking about being discouraged, you know, and what works for me is to take a step back mentally and to not um, think about what I have to do, what my responsibility is, but to say to Yahweh, I trust you, I, I need to follow you because you're the one who gave me this land to steward. And so I wait and usually don't have to wait very long, but I just kind of sit still and, and um, let things move through my spirit and my mind without me trying to do anything in particular, not trying to force anything. And always another solution comes up. And it's, you know, it's never gonna be um, bad really to have to change gears. I mean, what's the worst that could happen in my situation? What if I just never planned anything on the farm? I don't think that's gonna happen, but it could. I mean, if, if that came about, I can still enjoy that land, you know? I'm, it's it's gonna be fine. But, but I know that my purpose is to plant on it and to uh, help it to recover from the clear cutting that was done. So, but that's just my personal situation. You know, if you have a dream you're trying to live, a goal you're trying to reach, you have to not take it so personally that when things happen to uh, get in the way or seem to stall your progress, you have to not take it personally. You have to just step back and look at it more logically and be still for a little bit and Holy Spirit's going to bring the answer to you. Um, who knows when, it could be just like that. You could be waiting a year and a half or two years, but you still stay in faith, you know. And so I guess that's really the key to pushing through fear, you know, is to elevate your thinking. Don't be down in the, the flesh, you know. Don't be of the world, just be in the world but be of the spirit. And what I'm seeing happen with the farm by following the spirit, uh, I learn something every time I go out there, even if I don't do anything, I learn something really important. And it takes a lot of visiting the land and looking, looking at it and just seeing what happens over time, you know, to learn, to learn what, where the path is. You know, there's a lot of options, uh, a lot of ways to reach a goal. There's a lot of ways to reach a goal, and you have to be willing to um, take a different path than you thought, or else you'll never get there. If you think you can only get to point B by going down one particular line, and you refuse to deviate, you know, and take a little bit different path you may not make it. So, so I guess that's it, you know. Um, one day at a time, now is what counts. Don't get, don't get put into a, a straight jacket, you know, because things, things aren't going exactly the way you thought or happening when you thought. That's it, that's it. I guess I'm giving you advice, <laughs> but I, what I want to say to you, it doesn't matter about your age, by the way. Um, I'm over a certain age, uh, and I'm finding that I just need to do things the way that I can do things, not the way that I did 30 years ago. And if you're of a young age, don't let that stop you. You have, if you make this much progress, towards your goal. That counts. You know, you may you may be wanting to make milestones, but you may have to make minor progress first. That's paying dues, but it's also laying foundations. You know, foundations are if you if you lay a brick foundation, you're laying one brick at a time and you're putting mortar in between to hold it all together. 
So all the little steps that you take are important for that. That's it. I'm shutting up. See y'all next time.